The idea is that you download this app, and it's going into beta August 9th, according to this article. Um, instead of you cheering, you use the app to cheer. And the app is in Japanese, so you don't know what cheer is, what chant or whatever that you're pressing. But ideally, uh, you will use the app, hit the button, and I believe it will... I, I, I'm unclear on this because I think the app itself, like, it's just a sound app. Oh, I'd love to see this, like, if it was a thing. But it it, it definitely has to control it so you were, didn't have people just going, yay, boo, yay, boo, boo, yay, yay. <laughs> like, inappropriately, like, or it would just be a whole bunch of sounds. And also, I should iterate that that, that Japanese crowds are um, very um, respectful. Yeah. <laughs> very respectful. Like, even before this, like, you would hear mostly silence during a match, especially if it was, like, really going match, and then you'll just hear applause. Like, like there wasn't a whole ton of yelling beforehand. <laughs> so, um, so like, maybe it's just that that, that scale that kind of works out better, right? Um, Chilla, what do you think? I, I think this would be super cool, especially where I, I mean, not that we can watch Penguins games anymore, but, mm, nope, nope. I mean, if you could have had, even for the, for the players, if you could have pumped that into the arena or to the venue, um, I think that would have been super cool. I, I completely agree with Katie's point of, you know, don't don't let people abuse it. So maybe you sign in and you kind of root for your team and you only get to use certain areas of the sound palette or whatever but it would to me it would also change the dynamic of watching it because i it, it felt weird.